What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we are going to be playing some Siege with Brock. Jello Beats, holla at me! So just an update guys from the last video, we've actually jumped all the way up to 6th in the world. We've been doing having a great grind. Again, we only have until Tuesday to set up our season so that next season we can hit 20k. But we did a great job in the last two days. I didn't play Monday and Tuesday because I didn't really plan on it. So being 6th, only playing two days this season and not really trying that hard is actually quite amazing. So we're going to go into this map with Brock. So it's a pretty open map as you guys can see. Um, the reason I like Brock is just because of the range and the openness. We're going to try Brock alongside Penny and another kind of piercing brawler, kind of like Jesse or Nita, or we can even run Pam just because that's a really good brawler, and we'll see how things go. So here we go into the first game. I played quite a bit of Siege already today. I played a lot with Coach Corey, helped him make his video, so make sure you guys go check that out on his channel. But anyways, we're going to be playing here with Brock. I did like Brock. We're going to be focusing this penny to start off. Going to get close enough to just auto aim it down. We are facing people that are from Europe, so we're going to have a bit of delay, but hopefully it is not too bad. We were able to kill him right before he did register his bolt, I guess, so and that is awesome. It looks like we're going to be able to get the first robot, unless I go down here, which I don't think I will. Yeah, so we're going to be able to get the first robot. They are running Pam, and Pam obviously is the strongest brawler when it comes to just holding down an area so that's definitely going to be tough to take down with our comp but I don't think it's going to be too hard Penny is really good on this map so that's definitely a plus what I like doing with Brock is saving my super and then breaking the walls right in front of the safe I'll show you guys in just a second here as long as I stay alive so letting him tank and going right like this so you can just shoot straight at the safe it's really good. Um, I think our robot's going to be going down. So a key thing, if you get the first robot, is not to push in too hard because it's very, very rare that on your first attempt will you be able to uh, get behind this wall. Perfect. The crow wasn't able to hit us because we went behind that wall. It's very crucial that on your first attempt, if you get the first one, to not go all in because nine times out of ten, you will not win the game off of that. And they're going to get a second robot, and that's likely to be strong, and there's a high percentage that they can win the game with that second robot than you can with your first. So just maintaining the middle possession with, with what, after getting the first robot is very important. Doing 50% is awesome with the first robot because you know you're going to get your second one out. But yeah, that's just like a quick tip. Anyway, something I love on this map are these springs. Now, we're starting to see the springs way more often in the maps. I don't know if I'm a fan of them or not. I don't think... Uh, like they're not that bad a lot of people don't like them because they don't think they're competitive they think they're just a joke but i'm kind of enjoying them so far so just going to go for the safe right now it looks like it's going to be a quick easy win two robot push and that is going to be the end of the first game So here we go into the second game. They got another Pam. So they're running Brock and Bo. And I actually think that's a really good comp. I don't know if there's there's not that much Pierce actually. The only thing that can hit multiple targets is the bow. And hitting multiple targets is really important in this game. In this mode actually. So we will see if that comes back to bite them. But so far it's looking quite even. They're actually up 2-0 on bolts right now. Now 2-1. Snowcrow was able to pick one up. They're trying three tap, won't be able to. I think we have to hit this or they get it. No, we did hit it, but they were still able to get the third bolt. So they are going to get the first push. Now, this isn't the end of the world as long as we have a decent defense. I think our comp is decent for defense, but it's, there's nothing that we have that's too strong. Something like a pan is excellent on defense. And I can just absolutely take it, take down the, uh, the robot. Anyways, we're going to be continuously tapping them. With Brock, you don't really want to focus too much on the robot just because you can't do too much damage. I'm going to go and super the Pam and try and get it out of the picture for the push here. Looks like we're actually going to have a little bit of lag and that is not going to work out in our favor here. Looks like we got bow mines on the save. That's going to be it for the first push. That was definitely a crazy first push by them. Really strong. So we're definitely going to have to come back and make sure we get these next two because if they get another robot, that is probably going to be it for us and we won't be able to win the game. 
good playing so far. We're able to hold them back. Hopefully we can hit that shot. There we go. Looks like they did pick up another one. I think, okay, we are gonna have enough time. We are gonna have to make sure we get the next ones. There we go, I picked it up. The next one did spawn very close to our side, so we are gonna be able to pick that up. It looks like we're gonna have control of this next siege here. We're trying to hit that rock. Missed him, but got the hams. That's not the worst thing in the world. Again, one more push by them. Every push is basically like a guarantee, guarantee 25%, unless it's a really slow first push. So we can't let them have another push or else we're gonna lose the game. We're gonna break the walls over here, which I absolutely love doing. And you can basically only do with Brock, which which will make it effective. Looks like our robot is going down. So we also had a good push, but we have to make sure that we get this next one right here. We are gonna be able to take out the Brock though. Here we go, looks like Snow Crow is playing really aggressive. Gonna help him out over there. Looks like we're up, we have possession so far. As long as we can continue doing what we are doing, it looks like we're gonna be fine. Continuing to tap the cam. So, it, uh, also something you can do on this map is you can you see the, uh, there's a lot of grass here, so there's a lot of sneaking actually. It looks like that is what they're actually going to be going for. Not too sure. They know, they have lost the game unless they sneak. You can go down these grass, this grass, and kind of get like a few shots off on the safe. You want to make sure that they're not doing that, just because we already know that we won, as long as they don't do that. Yeah, so we're just going to make sure we focus on defense, and that is going to be the end of the second game right there. Great comeback from behind win from us. So here we go into the third game here. So we're gonna have Sword switch to Nita. So I think Nita is actually really underrated on this map. But what you want to do with Nita, you don't really want to go through the middle. You want to go through the grass. Now I haven't been communicating really with Sword. He kind of just picked it, so I'm hoping that he picks up on that and he does go through the grass. Anyways, it looks like we're gonna go down. Ooh, Sword jumping in. Holy, that was awesome to watch. So it looks like Sword's actually gonna get that. That was so cool to watch. We're gonna try and scare him. Look, the sword's just going for it. Wow. That's awesome. I love these springs are actually so cool. You just fly over and get him without him expecting. So there's a nice solid miss super over there. Looks like the Pam wants to join in on the fun. Oh yeah, it looks like everyone's joining in right here. The springs are just so cool. We're gonna follow the robot here. Don't wanna to stay too close to it because we're gonna be hit by the Jesse shots. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna break this over here, and there we go. We're gonna start going at the save. Again, it's a first push. I'm not sure we might be able to take it down. I don't think so. I'm gonna back off just in case. It looks like we're not able to, but remember what I said earlier about the sneak. We're gonna try and make sure that we can hide over here. Hopefully the Pam didn't pick up on it. I don't think he, he did. We're just gonna sneak around like this. Gotta aim straight for the save, and you gotta hit it twice or three times. I think it's only twice. Yep, and there we go. The sneak coming into perfection, and that is the end of the third game. Anyways guys, that's it for the video. Thank you for coming out. If you can smash that like button, it really helps out a lot. You don't understand. It really, really helps out. Anyways, Thanks for the support, thanks for everything. You guys know I'm gonna be showing up every single day, making videos every day or as much as I can, and I appreciate it all. So thank you guys, it's been a blast, and until tomorrow, peace.